we was just having this conversation, me and Ed, um, Ed Reed and Ken Hamlin, we was having this conversation, man, because they, them boys in the cigars heavy just as well as me. When we played, like in our era, when we played, <laughs> you didn't come across that middle. If you was a receiver, when you played the Pittsburgh Steelers or you played the Baltimore Ravens, uh, the offensive coordinator and the receivers, the receivers, they say, hey, coach, you know what routes we're taking out this week? Yeah, we're taking out that dig route. We're taking out them slants, and I'm going to take out the post because <laughs> we we playing some boys who are live, and that's when the rules wasn't changing. <laughs> you know, we was and, – and the guy was saying something about with uh, James – with Debo, James Harrison, when we played Cleveland, I think Debo put Josh Cribs and Colt McCoy to sleep. I'm <laughs> talking about, right. you ain't never, yeah, I'm talking about, you ain't never, I ain't never seen a grown man before he, before he hit the ground, start, start that's what we was doing. And we was taking all wages. And we felt like if you didn't have that on your resume, you wasn't hitting nobody. So, so, nah, the, with, to, to answer your question, picture, picture me trying to hit you, try to knock you out. And before you hit the ground, you snore. And it ain't even nighttime yet. You ain't even take no Benadryl. That's how we used to bring things back in the day. So, yeah, I, I, I wish I wish somebody would back in the day. A lot Ike, of people, that's why they call me. They... Ike, I'll be your hype man, too. Don't <laughs> act like you didn't catch a body either. I mean, Pat White might have a word about that. Mark Sanchez, too. <laughs> I will say yeah, it was I, cool. I, I, but you know what? No, I, I loved I, I love the love that Ike was getting from the Steeler Nation uh, this past week. I don't know if you caught any of that on uh, social media, Ike, but a lot of people were um, standing up and celebrating your career. I, I I hope you did really catch some of that. I did, I don't, I did. Yeah, I caught, oh, that's, I caught yeah. some on Twitter. On Twitter, yo, I caught a lot of it on Twitter. I, mean, I disagreed with the praise, but but people still were still people were like, oh, I still think he was good. I'm like, ah. But yeah, you know they, they haven't found they haven't found the replacement one. And man, I talked to Uncle Prime all the time. He was like, "Bro, you just too nonchalant about your career." He said, "I watched you come in and I watched you grow." He said, "I don't think and, and you checked the team number one best receiver." So he was like, "Bro, you 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 did this at a high level for a long time. You don't give yourself no praise. Like you know how hard it is <laughs> to be playing corner in the NFL. You know how hard it is, let alone to be checking the team's best receiver week in and week out." And he was like, "You was locking down. It wasn't like they were scoring." So went back and did the research. I think I gave up 17 touchdowns in 12 years. 17 Is that touchdowns right? in 12 years. Yeah. Wow, that's great. You yeah, know, it's funny because I think people hear, I think fans hear stuff like zone blitz. And so they assume that you were playing zone. And I think that's where so people for, get sideways outside, about what you were doing. You were track. You outside were corners, outside corners play, man. So the, right. a zone blitz in Pittsburgh still is for, for, for uh, Dickey. For Dick LeBeau, Coach LeBeau, the zone was in the middle of the field. So inside the numbers was the zone. If you was a corner and you played that five zone, you was on your own. I'll tell you what's crazy is, and I'm not trying to get your goat like uh, like our producer did on the old show way back when. <laughs> Excuse me, disgusting. Oh, uh, <laughs> and uh, it is. It's, uh, this is this is what old age is. This is coming for you, Ike. There's no avoiding it. <laughs> hey, this is what old. But you, you're right. You ain't even old. You just, you know, you just sit in the house all day. I'm an old soul. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's funny, though. That, that So, wait, 17 in 12 years, and I, I'm not getting your goat, no. but Calvin Johnson got three of those for, from you in one half of football. No. That's remarkable. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't score. He didn't score. He didn't, he he didn't? didn't score. He, he, no, yeah. He, had, he, had a, he just had 100 yards. He had 100 ah. yards in the first. He had 100 yards in the first half. And them boys, them boys looked at me and they looked at me laughing like, "Hey, I keep getting your ass roasted." So what you gonna do in the second? <laughs> what you gonna do in the second half? And I, I don't think he caught. I don't think he caught a ball in the second half. Oh, but the man had a hundred yards in the first half. Like that's just what it was. But uh, he, he ain't scored. Though. He didn't score. As one of the world's leading uh, Ike a uh, advocates, I do have to point out always. I know it's uh, it, it's. Uh, um, old news to people who follow closely. Ike Taylor couldn't catch. Got that one off Jake the Snake in the AFC title game, then picked off Matt Hasselbeck in the Super Bowl in two big spots, back-to-back -back games that uh, that at least that first pick ended that um, Broncos Super Bowl bid. When he picked off Plummer, then uh, 
Roethlisberger did the six shooters. That was the end of that game and sent uh, the Steelers to the Super Bowl. Hey, what do you think, Bert? Go ahead. I had to leave. I had to leave some man. Like the good man gave my son all that. Like I, <laughs> he said, look, he said, look, man, I'm, 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 I'm gonna take you to the promised land, but I'm, I'm gonna bring your son with me. Like my, and that's the ultimate feeling. Like I'd be sitting back and just be like. Damn, you really were dropping a lot of balls. You really could have been in the Hall of Fame. But then I just look at my son. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he just he can catch everything and it's so effortless with him. Like he don't even be trying. Like the dude, he coming downhill, he wanna smack in your face mask. And at the same time, he'll go play receiver and overtop you. Like what you what you <laughs> he, he telling himself. Like, I'm like, it's it's crazy. So no, nah, I didn't I didn't I didn't get that gift. 